Shabbat Shalom from Temple Concord. This week our Torah portion teaches us all about the importance of greeting others and welcoming strangers. At the beginning of our Torah portion, Abraham is resting out on the front porch, having just undergone his circumcision. Clearly it was not his best day. But three strangers walk up, and instead of just politely waving or just ignoring them, Abraham jumps to his feet, greets them, welcomes them to his house, calls for food and drink, and before you know it, they're having a whole little get-together. Abraham teaches us that it's important to put ourselves out, to reach out to new people, even if it might make us a little uncomfortable, because in doing that, in reaching out to the new person, we take that stranger and we make them part of our extended family. We make them a friend. At our temple, this lesson is, is so important because so often we find new people coming to our community, to our temple, and they don't know a soul. And our temple can be a real place of safety and security and joy if we can only find a way to reach out and welcome new people in. So I invite you to join us on this Shabbat as we honor veterans, those who have served. And when you come here, reach out. Take the effort that Abraham took. Introduce yourself to someone you might not know. Shake their hand, say hello, and welcome them. And thank them for being there, even if you're new. Because when we do that, we recognize that the welcoming, the mitzvah of greeting people, of bringing them in, benefits all of us. As I mentioned just a second ago, we have Shabbat services this Friday night on Veterans Day, November 11th, honoring our veterans. We have Tat Shabbat services beginning at 6, and then a fried chicken dinner to celebrate the veterans. Services are at 7.30. Saturday morning we have Torah study at 10, and services at 11. And over the coming week, I hope you'll look out for new people and welcome them. Introduce yourself. Extend yourself to them. There's nothing more kind and wonderful that even if you're just walking down the aisle at Wegmans to say hello to the person passing you. When we do that, ours becomes an even stronger community where we reach out to each other, we smile to each other, we can begin to trust each other, and together as partners we can make our world more perfect, more filled with shalom. I hope to see you soon at the temple. Shabbat shalom.